morning, 47. Your targets are Jack Rowe, a.k.a. Jakob Rowe, the charismatic celebrity chef specializing in new Nordic cuisine, and his partner in crime, Robert Burke, a well-established embalmer. The unlikely duo have been secretly working together in a diabolical scheme that could only come from a gothic novel. They have set up a rather bizarre business where, let's just say, nothing is off the menu. However, our client, a celebrity who wants to remain anonymous, has somehow come across the shocking truth of Mr. Rowe's secret ingredient and managed to connect the two together. Embarrassed and disgusted, they have not been able to go to the authorities as this would most likely lead to further scandal. So, they have turned to us. It's time to put an end to this ghoulish madness. Good luck, 47. Yo, what's up guys? My name is Mr. Freeze 2244 and welcome to the Procurious Elusive Target. This is available for the next 10 days. I'm going to show you two methods. First one's going to be the Sant Assassin uh, tracksuit only, with the fiber wire only as well. Um, it's basically the default loadout. If you're not interested in this and you're interested in the faster technique involved with the Molotov, click the timestamp in the description. It'll take you straight to that that method. However, check this one out. This is a good this is a good method. Afternoon, 47. Welcome to Thornbridge Manor. Your targets are currently separated, each taking care of their task at hand. Mr. Rowe is currently serving tasters to Gregory Carlyle, trying to entice him to become a VIP customer of his twist on Nordic cuisine, whilst Mr. Burke is putting the final touches on the late Zachary Carlyle, salvaging any potential waste that Mr. Rowe might deem appropriate for human consumption. Be careful, 47. These men are truly diabolical. Dan, calm down. It's not that serious. Mr. Freeze has got this. Understood, 47. I apologize for speaking so much. It's just sometimes I get so lonely, 47. Just be quiet. I'm a professional. So yeah, what we did there is just chuck the coin behind that little uh, crate to distract the two NPCs. And we grab the crowbar from the crates. Once we come inside, we knock out this maid, and we're just going to put her in the crate right here. That allows us uh, a free go at Jack Rowe. He's going to be inside the kitchen. Momentarily, he's going to come out into the corridor and with his food, and we're just going to give us a brief moment of opportunity to take him out. So if you're not interested in suit only, you could head into the bathroom after this and turn on the tap and you'll be able to acquire yourself a housekeeper disguise. So it's up to you if you want to go that method and make it a little bit more safer for yourself. Here's the second target to stop there, but we've just fiber wide our first target, dump him in the crate, his body is now hidden. Next we're going to jump over this wall and we're going to pull out our coin and just chuck it over there just to distract the two NPCs again just to get them to turn around just so they don't see us climb up this pipe right here up here is a little bit tricky if uh, if you don't want the risk like I said you're better off getting a disguise for this little part because it'll make things a little bit easier but essentially what we're going to do is knock out the guard in the room and the housekeeper maid woman in the room we're going to wait for him to walk past us as we open the door knock him out and then quickly throw the crowbar at the uh, the maid's head once you've done that quickly hide both bodies in the uh, closet right here what I would recommend is putting this disguise on because it would be a lot more beneficial to you than the suit however if you're following along just in your suit only however then just carry on doing what I'm doing so I'm hiding both bodies but I do recommend putting the bodyguard disguise on because momentarily the target and a guard is coming into the room so you need to quickly hide whether it's whether it's in this room over here or behind the counter it's up to you but you need to be quick if you get captured though just make sure you turn your console off or just alt f4 if you're on pc and it'll close your application then you just reboot the application you have another go at the elusive target from the very start so what we need to do essentially is knock out this guard right in front of us Ideally, we don't want to get spotted by the target, but it doesn't matter as long as it, if he spots you because we're killing him anyway. It doesn't really matter about that. So we'll have to make sure, just make sure the guard doesn't see us. So what we're going to do is just uh, just shock it at his head. The target sees us, but it doesn't matter. We're going to get on him real quick. I then garrot him. 
the farmer where? We can leave his body there, no one else comes in the room. The maid can't see through the window. This window is basically... It's, it may as well be a wall, because the NPCs can't see through that window right there. The only exit you've got to be worried about now is just over here. There's, there's quite a few guards over here at this point in time. Now, if that shortcut isn't unlocked for you, you should you should have your crowbar on you still, and you'll be able to break that open for that ladder anyway, and you'll be able to uh, take the shortcut. But before you do that, I do recommend knocking out the maid if you are going to use a crowbar in that, that place. I used a coin now just to finally distract the two uh, NPCs there, and that's how you get Silent Assassin. Tracksuit only. For the Molotov method, though, you're going to bring a little Molotov, the lethal syringe, and we're going to start in the staff room. I'm going to let the opening cutscene play out right here. This guy to our left is a enforcer to this disguise, so you just need to be careful. Get out of his line of sight real quick. So we're just going to crouch behind this table, circle around, pass through the bathroom. There's going to be a wrench on the floor. Go ahead and grab that. Head into the corridor and throw the wrench at this maid's head. Close the door and then drag the body after you've picked up the wrench and put her in the crate. So now what we've got to do now is, just like the previous method, just wait for the opportunity for this target Jack Rowe to come into this corridor. You could potentially take him out in here if you'd like, but I don't recommend it. It's much safer just to take him out in here, because we need to come back into the kitchen after we've taken out this first target anyway. So he's preparing some food, and momentarily he's just going to come out into the corridor, walk towards us. And that's when we're going to use the syringe, so we're going to use a poison kill. So his body is going to get found, but because it's a poison kill, uh, it's not going to affect your silent assassin rate in a negative way. So, yeah, I don't really know what he's doing to that food right there, but... Uh, He's waving his hands over it, maybe doing some sort of hocus pocus stuff. It's just important though, just make sure you close the door behind you after, uh, before you poison them. So before you poison them, uh, close the door behind you. Next, we're going to wait for that maid to uh, stop moving. Once she does that, take out your Molotov, close the door behind you as you enter the kitchen, crouch behind this little desk right here, wait for your target to get into position. Once he's there, right in the middle of that room, we're just going to throw this bottle. Right at the, uh, the, was it the air conditioning unit? And that is pretty much it. He's going to set him on fire. So the explosion, what did, he didn't get affected by the explosion, but he got affected by the flames from it. So he got set on fire there, and you'll get an accident kill. It's it's just really funny that uh, you can do it with this, with this sort of item. I'm actually glad it's in the game. I hope it doesn't get nerfed, because I quite like this sort of thing. It's quite funny. But uh, it's an easy way of taking him out without even going upstairs. <laughs> It's, it's probably the easiest way of doing this list target, to be honest. It's, it's quick, it's easy, it's simple. You do, however, need to get Mastery Level 20 on Ambrose Island to unlock the Molotov, but it is definitely worth it, in my opinion. But uh, that's how you uh, do this Procurious Year 2 uh, Elusive Target contract. I've done um, I've done this originally video eight months ago or something like that. Uh, so you can check that video out if you'd like, if more sensible methods, if you will. But... Uh, that's going to do it for this video. So thank you very much for watching. Feel free to drop a like on this video if it did help you out. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. Hit the bell notification to be notified of all future videos and live streams. Consider supporting me on Patreon or even becoming a member of the channel by clicking the join button below or clicking the link in the description. And I just want to say thank you to all my Psycho Assassin members. In fact, every member on the channel. I really do appreciate all your support. I'll leave a link to that old video on the screen right now. Thank you very much for watching. Cheers.